Welcome back. Today we are going to discuss a couple of uh, problems on dialysis, uh, basically hemodialysis. Okay, here is a question uh, that we have in front. Uh, RT is a 35 year old woman who is undergoing a hemodialysis for the treatment of acute renal failure. Obviously, in, you know, acute renal failure, sometimes you have several issues and uh, today this patient is on naproxen, tabtobramycin, and also she's on verapamil, atrovastatin, and ranitidin, but we are going to discuss just these two problems here, okay? So the molecular weight of naproxen is 230 uh, grams per mole, and tobramycin is 468 grams per mole. And the volume of distribution in liters is 11 and 23, uh, and the fraction unbound is 0 0.003 and 0 0.95, and the clearance is 0 0.5 and 0 0.3, okay? So, as you are aware that we have discussed in the class, the Gwilton Perrier they published uh, this in 1978. So uh, they have shown that if the value, you know, if the value of this particular equation, you know, if it is greater than 80, okay, then it, within six hours of hemodialysis, you know, the drug will be removed significantly. I mean, this uh, from the body. Okay, so. Uh, it's 20 to 50 percent of the drug will be removed and if the value of this equation is less than 20 then a very small amount will be removed probably you know in very insignificant amount will be removed it's like less than 10 percent will be removed from the body uh, during a six hour of hemodialysis okay so let's apply this equation for our problem over here Okay. Okay. The fraction unbound for naproxen, we are doing naproxen, okay, is 0 0.003 times 100. Okay. So the volume distribution is in liters per kilograms, right? Okay. So here we have only volume, not in liters, not in liter per kilograms. So what we do? So uh, hmm, I didn't provide the information about the body. Weight. So let's take the usual body weight, which we always consider it 70 kilograms, right? So volume of distribution is 11, and it's the latest per kilogram that is 11 divided by 70. Okay. So if you solve for this one, you'll get an equation a value of 1.9. Okay. So okay, if us is like just 1.9, so Obviously, as you can see, it's less than 20, right? So, we are aware from this fact that a very small amount will be removed, and it is insignificant, by the way. Less than 10% uh, will be removed. And so, basically, there is no need to replace a dose. And moreover, it is very highly protein bound. From this value, you can see it is very highly protein, protein bound. And we don't have to replace the dose in this particular case in the naproxen. Okay, let's take a look at tobramycin. Okay, so what's tobramycin? Tobramycin molecular fraction unbound is how much? It's 0 0.95. Okay, so what is this fraction unbound? Isn't it the bound fraction is very less, right? So, so the protein binding is very less here 0 0.95 times 100 divided by volume of distribution is 23 divided by 70 kilograms okay so the value is approximately 289 okay so what is that we infer from this information 289 hmm obviously if you take a look at this it's greater than 80 right so it shows that so if you perform a six hours of hemodialysis on this patient, so a significant amount of the drug will be removed, approximately 10, 20 to 50% of the drug will be removed. And definitely, yes, you need a replacement dose. And uh, that is it.